we're gonna unbox the GoGo SC40. So this is Elite Traveler with the standard batteries. So there's a couple ways of doing it. Obviously, let's just go ahead and open this box so you can see what it looks like from the inside. Pride Mobility makes a bunch of different scooters and their GoGo's are gonna be their most travel friendly scooters. Um, and there's a bunch of different GoGo's. You have the GoGo ES, which will be the least expensive GoGo. You have the GoGo um, Ultra X, comes in three wheel, four wheel. And then this will be your next one, your GoGo Elite Traveler with standard batteries. And then you can upgrade these to an HD battery, which will give you a little more range with the battery pack we have here. So here's your charger. Let's get that open, let's get that out. And there's a lot of styrofoam. Just pull it out, pack it very well. Here's your manual. You'll have a serial number, you have a key, you have these little pins. Put this to the side, pull the seat straight up. The seat will come up. Now you can change the seat sizes to 20s on some of the models, but you can also extend the arms out if you get the standard size seat. So I wouldn't, you wouldn't really need a bigger seat if it's a smaller scooter. Arm wrap. One for each side. And look at that. That's the first time I've really seen this coming in from shipping damage. So if you get that, the box looks fine. Take a picture of that. Send it to me. I'll get that taken care of. Uh, I haven't seen that before. Very rarely do you see problems with these. Seat post. I'm just going to unravel and take the plastic out. There's different seat heights you can do with this. So you'll see different notches on each side. So you can adjust the seat height. The specs are on our page. Tells you the different floor to seat height, deck to seat height. And it's a swivel seat all the way around. So you'll see these notches. Put that in here and just start unpackaging. So from here, here's your basket. It's kind of a smaller basket and then it's going to come in red, but if you want to make it blue, you can change the shrouds very easily. There's your blue shrouds. And from right here, what you're going to do is get this wrapper out of the way and loosen this up. Now, don't over loosen it. Just loosen it up to where these teeth don't grind. And you're just going to bring this straight up. And then tighten it back down so where the teeth go back in it. Don't put a lot of weight on this just in case the teeth aren't in the groove that falls on you. Now, get down in here. Here's your battery. This is about 20 pounds, 18 pounds, and you can charge this through the battery pack. So you can take this in the house, leave this in your car. You also have a charging port right here if you want to charge it directly through the scooter. So we're going to get this battery out. The first thing you're going to want to do, and it tells you on here, usually this is over the keyhole, is to charge the battery 100% before using it. So we'll get that battery on a charger immediately. Let it charge up overnight, use it the next day, and charge it up after each time you use it. That's very, that's what you're supposed to do with these scooters. Don't let it run all the way dead. Charge it up each night. Try not to do short charges. Now, from here, this isn't a very heavy scooter, but it also disassembles. So if you have an extra person, you can pick this up, you can disassemble it, or you can cut the box. What I'm going to do is come here and use the quick release pull it straight up and I'm gonna pull this scooter right out so that's your first part this is probably like 30 pounds 30 to 34 pounds and then here's your motor and pull this right out too and I'll tell you what that is in just a second so now we're just gonna take all this stuff and you'll just start throwing it all in there let's put it back together which is very easy so the green line these hooks I'm just gonna walk this right back 
and connect it. If you get it jammed up or you do it wrong like this, just reset, but it usually goes right together very easily. No need to force it down hard. This is not turning on me. The reason for that is when you go to lift this, if you don't have this activated, this will swing on you when you're trying to pick it up. It'll be all over the place. So what you do, this you lock this, tighten this up so this doesn't move on you. But you have to turn this in order to use it. Now this is a three wheel and it's a small scooter. So if you're a bigger person, even though it holds 300 pounds, be careful because it can get a little tipsy. Um, it's a very small unit, um, but it's a nice unit. So let's go ahead and put the, the bar on. So what you're gonna have to do now is go back to your manual. Go ahead and get the key out. There's your spare key. So if you want to take this off now, take it off, put it back in your manual, but I'm going to leave it all together for now. You're going to take your pin, take the pin out, and then you're going to put it in here. So you will, it just goes across. So you can determine which hole you want on your seat height. So it just depends on how tall you are is which one you use. Um, but I'll put that right in there. Next thing I'm going to do is grab the seat and I'm just gonna drop it right on. Again, here's the battery. So the battery would go right here. It just kind of drops into play. Um, take your arms. Look, this is your swivel. So the reason why I say when you take this part, just pull it straight up. You don't wanna mess with this. This is only to swivel the seat. So like if you wanted to swivel to get out, that's what you use. But if you pull this up and get it off, you could lock it on one of these posts. That's why you don't do that. So you pull it straight up. When you put it on, you put it So right here, we're going to back this out a little bit. And you're going to go back in here. They're going to have two other little pins. If you want to use them, you can. This is going to be for back here. And this little port back here holds a basket, oxygen tank holder, whatever. So you'll use that. I'm going to attach this. See, it won't go in, so back this up more. And all you're doing is you're putting these in so when you tighten it up, repeat the process. See, it won't go in. Back it out more. Find the hole. Again, you don't have to use these, you can just use this. It's got a little pocket at the back. What we'll do there, we'll throw the manual in there. You can put your charger back in there. Take the basket, drop it right on here. Now let's open up this charger. And what I like to do is, there's a little, another little manual in this box. Take this out. I'll tell you why. Because this gives you, there's a, you could get fault codes on this charger. These mean, see it says faults. Well, your manual from the scooter won't have this fault codes in there. So save this. And it'll tell you things you need to know. Sorry. It's this one. This is Spanish. So if you speak Spanish, not when you save that one. And this will give you what those fault code lights are. And that could be anywhere like the batteries are extremely low. I'll start indicating this, giving you different codes, but it tells you what the lights mean and what they're doing and how to charge it, different stuff like that. Charging your battery. So put this back in here. Don't lose that. Now all you do with this is take this little plastic piece off, unravel this, plug this in just like so, 
take this and either plug it directly into the port up here or into the battery pack down here. So once you do that, there'll be a power light and there'll be a light right here charging saying it's probably red and then it tells you when it's charged. So wrap around Delta Tiller. Um, this is a circuit breaker if you're wondering. And then you have a free will at the back. This is your disengage to roll it. But it won't work unless it's in drive. Swivel seat for this one is the best way to get on and off of it. Right here. Get onto it like this. Pull this up. Move this around. There you go. 